So there's, so there's some things that I want to become salient to you throughout this conversation this evening and I'll, I'll re-emphasize them and I'll highlight them. So when I say sit down at the table, consider the last time you sat down at a table with your, even on your own or with your friends and family and had no distractions, nothing but you, you, four, three, four entities sitting in a space enjoying food, giving thanks for that food. Now it might seem woo-woo but it's actually not, it's a beautiful thing and, and it's actually shown that one of the, the foremost important things to our longevity and our health is connection, is community. And the presence of food can help to bind that, and bind us socially and, and sort of enhance our connection, our connectivity with each other and, and of course, thus then benefit our well-being. So you want to sit at a table. The table is the cornerstone for family. The table is the cornerstone for um gracing and being grateful for food and the things that we've worked for and it's an award for all the award for all the things that we put ourselves through on a daily basis. So I would suggest that you turn off your devices when you're going to eat mindfully, 100%. Turn them off, even put them out of your uh, a bird's eye view, just put them in another room, turn them off, airplane motor, switch them off, turn your television off, any other distractions, maybe you've got a dog that barks, get that out of the room, put it in its kennel or whatever for half an hour, this is all about you, your food and and, and, and your well-being and sit down maybe the, the, the light in here is quite calm and, and it's important to have a calm environment when you're doing this because you're really setting yourself up for failure if you don't have a calm environment because you're going to have so many distractions it's all about that one pointed focus in mindfulness meditation remember we're laser focusing on the present moment we're trying to impress ourselves so to have that one pointed focus and really set yourself up for success, then you really need to make sure your environment is calm. Because the human body has what's known as mirror neurons. And mirror neurons mimic and respond to things in our environment. Mirror neurons are what are what is involved when we learn. So there's a social learning theories which is very important, I'm going to touch on a little bit later, but social learning theories suggest that you, you take on board that which your environment is. I'll get to that later, but imagine you're trying to create a conducive environment to really, to really feel and vibe your food and enjoy it because the ultimate goal is happiness, is well-being, is to have as many beautiful moments in a daily life, in a week, weekly, monthly, yearly, um, decade basis it's just to prolong satisfaction and reduce suffering that is the ultimate goal for everyone i believe so and i'm sure you would agree thumbs up if you agree that that is the ultimate goal um, and so to do that you need to set yourself up the environment for success so tv off quiet dim the lights light some candles give put some energy into your food and um, i always i always uh, say how you do anything is how you do everything. So what you'll find is that if you can really embody this, this criteria for mindful eating, if you can silence yourself, if you can raise your awareness, if you can consume the food slowly and really drink in and, and elevate your senses and enjoy it in a blissful manner, then that practice, that mindful practice will help. It will extend to every other area of your life. How you do it how you do anything is how you do everything. I almost find that when I'm in a mindful state, it benefits everything. It doesn't just benefit my mindful eating. It doesn't just benefit my relationships, my communications. It benefits everything. So how you do one thing is how you do everything.